Hey, Marcus, uh, good to hear from you. It was uh, first time for you on, on this stage right now. Uh, what was it like just coming coming out, just replacing some of the guys tonight and then getting some shots up real good? Um, you know, with our team, we have so many talented guys and, you know, just to be around them each and every day is a blessing in itself. But, um, you know, some guys out, so it's the next man up mentality and um, it's just about staying ready. You know, um, we've worked extremely hard this year. Guys that play, guys that don't necessarily play a whole lot. Um, so it's just about continuing to put in the work. And um, when your time comes and your numbers call, you just have to be prepared and be ready. Alex Labadoo. Hey, Marcus, there, there are a few possessions, I believe, where you were guarded by Kyrie. How did that feel to just go up against one of the elite players in this game? And also, what, what do you think you showed out there tonight? I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Could you repeat the question? Um, sorry. Um, uh, you were guarded by, in a few possessions by Kyrie, and I just wanted to know what it felt like to go up against one of the elite players in the game. And also, I just wanted to know what you felt about the, 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 your performance tonight. Um, first and foremost, you know, Kyrie Irving's a, you know, one of the best players in the NBA, like you mentioned, um, a person who I've grown up watching and, you know, have a lot of respect for his game and um, what he represents. So um, to be able to compete and, you know, be on the court with him, um, it was definitely an awesome feeling, you know, something that as a kid, you can never really imagine happening. But the fact that it's happening, you know, it's really cool to have that moment, you know, come to a realization. And, um, you know, for me, just um, tonight, it was a, you know, it was a, a night where, you know, you want to, of course, end with a win. Um, that's what's most important. But, um, you know, just to have the, the season that a guy like me in my situations had to, you know, have to be patient, and wait and continue to work. Um, you know, it was it was pretty cool to see kind of just the fruits of that labor being put to you. So um, I'm fortunate, but I understand, you know, I have a long way to go and a lot to get better at. So um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, the next time I'm able to get in the gym and, you know, just work on my game. Leonardo Torres. Hi, Marcus. Considering Aaron's absent and the team's back-to-back -back fatigue, how would you evaluate tonight's team effort? Um, you know, I think just with our schedule, uh, especially the way we end the season, um, the back-to-back -back that we've just had playing a team in Utah last night, um, who, who was one of the best teams in the NBA, and then coming back the next night and playing Brooklyn, who's Again, one of the best teams in the NBA. Um, it's extremely tough. And I think just showing how hard we played as a team, um, the resiliency of this team with so many guys out, um, you know, it just proves and shows how tough our guys are. Um, I look at guys like, you know, Nicola and, and Faku and Michael, you know, who play 30 plus, 40 plus minutes, uh, never complain about it, you know, with all the demands that it comes with, um, all the strain it has on their body. Um, but, you know, they're professionals, you know, and they're, they're guys that you definitely try to take little bits and pieces of their game and how they approach it. And, you know, I just think as a team, we're a tough team. And, you know, when we get our guys full, back in full strength, you know, I know we're going to be a force to be reckoned with come playoff time. Vinny Benedetto. Hey, Marcus, did anyone tell you to go out there and be aggressive and look for your shot? Or was that just you kind of play, playing the way you, you know how to play? Yeah, you know, it was definitely uh, mentioned among, you know, a lot of the coaches as well as my teammates, you know. Um, you know, I'm fortunate to be around, you know, a bunch of great guys and veterans that, you know, really take me under their wing and kind of show me the ropes and encourage me in ways, you know, um, whether it's working out or whenever I get time to play in a game, you know, they're always having um, something to say in my ear about, you know, just being the player that I am, being aggressive. And, you know, if they see if I see a shot, you know, to take it. Um, so. Um, when your teammates and your coaches give you that type of confidence and belief in you, you know, it definitely helps and makes things a lot easier when you're out there on the court. Matt Moore. Marcus, you were obviously came in with the identity as, of a score given your prolific scoring in college. And then you have clearly shown that you can score at this level. You're almost through your rookie season. What have you kind of realized? Like, okay, I'm going to have to learn this if I'm going to have a long career. Is it defense? Is it being a floor general? What are the things that both the coaches have told you and that you've realized that you're going to need going forward to be the player that you want to be in the NBA? Um, kind of just how my college career went and, you know, the transition from high school to college, you know, um, it was definitely a struggle at first in my freshman year. And a lot of the same things that I was dealing with my freshman year are kind of the same I'm feeling and dealing with, you know, in this rookie season of mine. Um, and that's, you know, understanding the pace of the game, you know, um, when to go at a faster speed, you know, when to slow down, when to change pace. So um, that's kind of been the thing I think um, 
I've tried to work on and I'm going to continue to work on um, as I develop more and more is just understanding the pace of this game, how we play as a team, um, understanding the different types of swings in an NBA game. Um, you know, but like I said before in previous questions, you know, my teammates do an unbelievable job of, you know, showing me the ropes and um, pointing things out when, when they come. So um, I'm fortunate, you know, to be around a great group of guys that, you know, are willing to help, you know, a, a rookie like myself. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it. Thank you.